Yo, what's up, guys? How you doing? You hanging out with the one and only Philly Dom. I'm out here in Philadelphia, my hometown, and I'm hanging out with some um, hometown pride right now. We got the super group, a super R&B, R&B group out of uh, Philadelphia. Tell them who you are and give them a little background, a little backstory about yourselves. The Purple Fire. Okay. This thing with our band consists of the brain trust, the amalgamation of Anthony Bannister and Remy Hendrix, or Remy Ramon Duncan. Okay. That's a good cut. That's a good cut. Okay. Keep it going. All right. How long you guys been a band for? Oh, man. Um, how long we been a band for? That's actually a good question because okay. uh, we've been a band, uh, man, 10 years now. 10 years now? We've been doing this for 10 years, and the way we met was just crazy, and uh, we became a band instantly. I don't know anyone else who really had a band. We had like trial periods and everything, but we just jumped right into being a band. Okay. That's, we call ourselves a super group, you know, because uh-huh. that, like in the NBA with super teams where you get the best players want to play with each other and be on the same team to win as many championships as possible. We join forces so that we can win as many awards and championships as possible. So that's how we do it. Exactly. <laughs> that's what's up, guys. That's what's up, guys. Now, how do you how do you describe your sound? How do you describe the sound? How do you describe you guys' sound? Because are you like Neil Soul? Or are you just regular yeah. R&B? Jack. Oh, wow, a little bit of everything. We're, we're, we're a buffet. Like, okay. It's like Thanksgiving. Okay. We, we got, you know, everything from you know, fresh vegetables, everything is sliced and diced. Okay. We have your, you know, your traditional uh, uh, dishes. Okay. Fried chicken, that, that southern, you know, that down home love. Hola. That mud. Yeah, we understand. And we also we also have you know the light and the delicacies uh-huh. you know what I mean and, and, and it's just a complete meal you know what I mean if we had to put it together um, okay. light into culinary arts okay I hear you he just like a gumbo all mixed up with everything a lot of different sounds yeah. okay a lot of elements yeah energetic the poise you know over the top you know edgy okay soulful. and um you know our music is pretty much like a, just a melting pot of you know, hip hop, R and B, big rock ballads, mm-hmm. reggae. Okay. I'm from the Bahamas, so there's a lot of island influences. Okay. And the Philadelphia, the spirit of Philadelphia with that grit and that island coolness, uh-huh. that island, you know, stick it to like that striving. That type of vibe. You know, Jamaicans be up in like yeah, man, right. yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't give up. Like I gotta make it. I got determined to make it. You know, our music is just you know. It's okay. indescribable, man. It's a great, wow. great, uh, great, 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 great platform. Yeah. Wow. So now the, the the COVID situation, I know that shut everybody down. How did that affect you guys? Because you couldn't you couldn't go to the clubs. You couldn't go to the Philadelphia is known for the open bike. Yeah. You couldn't do none of that. How did you guys well, get through that? Good. Well, we, we we actually dropped <laughs> one of the. Um, <laughs> One of the last shows before the city locked down. Okay. Yep. You know, we did a show around the 17th of February. Okay. Um, it was real, it was real impactful. Okay. It was building good momentum. We, this is our, our home where we rehearse it. Okay. Our, for our set. Sounds yes. crazy. Sounds crazy. Sounds yeah, crazy. It sounds crazy. Yes. You know what I mean, but yeah. Uh-huh. And so you know, they looked out for us, and uh-huh. you know, we just been working. But at the same time, when COVID hit, yeah, we realized that you know, shows and stuff will be postponed. But we had to do something more virtual. And okay. That's why we went and got into the VR space within the Oculus. Okay. Uh, 360 cameras. Gotcha. Uh, creating our own venue so that our supporters mm-hmm. could be hands on and be a part of what we're doing. Okay. So, you know, we've been testing out different cameras and stuff. Okay. To get the most, you know, experiential yeah. experience from this music because okay. until the shows come back, you know, we don't know how long that is with the vaccinations and everything. We don't know. What it all entails. Okay. So we don't want, we want, you know, we got 8K sound coming Okay. Through. Yeah. And, you know, when people immerse upon okay. the platform that we're building for our audiences, they'll be able to experience it. Okay. Losing any of the fidelity or the experience. Okay. So yeah. That make like a lot. We, 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 we are post, like, we prepared ourselves for COVID. It okay. made us go harder. Wow. And That's what's with up. With solutions and innovation. Uh-huh. You know, we went, immediately we went into the Oculus. Okay. You know, we called each other like, listen. They shut us down, but we getting out. Yeah, <laughs> he said they shut us down, but we getting like, out. Listen, we went yeah, and got our really Oculus. Right. We went and got goals first initially. Now we're on the quests. 
Uh -huh. you know, so we realized that we had to create, you know, I mean, Erica Badu did one also. She created okay. her own virtual platform. So we and I did the same thing. Okay. We created our own virtual platform. Yeah, man. You know, so that our people can experience us like they're there also. Okay. You know, until the, cool. until the shows come where they really can feel us. Okay. You know, and feel the, feel the energy that we bring in. COVID, man, I mean, you know, um, it's crazy, like, you know, any type of um, pandemic ever happened, like, I'll use the Great, you know, the Great Depression, for example, the mm -hmm. Great Depression, you know, birthed a lot of millionaires and multi-millionaires, a lot of businesses, and a lot of times, you know, during the COVID period, you know, the early stages of it, embryonic stages, I want mm -hmm. to say, you know, we had a lot of time to think. So, you know, Purple Fire, we had a lot of time to reflect. Okay. A lot of time to reflect on, you know, you know, what are we here for? Why are okay. we doing this, you know? What are we looking to do? You know, where are we looking to be in two, three years from now? Like, you okay. Know, why haven't we released any records yet? Why haven't we, you know, toured the world yet? With all these questions, we have time to answer ourselves. Even though we didn't answer ourselves right away. <laughs> I hear you. We had a couple, you know, we had a couple good months to really think about it and ponder it. Mm -hmm. and figure out the best strategy and solutions so that we can make sure that we fulfill, you know, these, you know, the prophecy, whatever, you know, where, where we want our music to go. And here we are, man. Um, you know, they say, it ain't how you go in, it's how you come out, or it ain't where you are, it's where you're from, or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I understand exactly happy. what you're saying. We, we, it ain't how you start, it's how you're finishing. Mm -hmm. We came together and we said, you know what, man, you know, the hell with this shit. Okay. Excuse my friends. No problem. You know, um, you know, we gotta drop this music now. It's now or never. For so much music That's prior. Good. Okay. Yeah. For so much music prior to COVID. Okay. You know, years and we had music and we say, you know what, it's time. Mm -hmm. And COVID was the perfect catalyst uh -huh. for our style of music. Okay. You know, I mean, our stuff is, you know, it's mature, Jeez. but it's also relatable. Like children love our music. Okay. You know, the elders love our music. Okay. So, love it. And, and, and we don't put nothing out if we don't feel it. I hear you on that. Right. So we gotta feel it. He gotta feel where I'm coming from, and I gotta feel where he's coming from. If it doesn't mesh perfectly, then mm -hmm. we don't put it out. It doesn't to okay. offend the music. Real talk. Okay. And have you guys worked with anybody out of Philadelphia? Have you been on any big tracks with anybody out of Philly? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Philly, Philly is a very small community. Um, you know, Little Africa Studios, we got, uh, you know, Johnny Popcorn. Okay. We've been doing a lot of recordings with them. And, uh, okay. Helping us out with production as well. Uh, Lucky Hands. Oh, Lucky Hands. Um, in Harrisburg. Cause we, you know, we consider even outside of Philadelphia. PA, once you, you yeah, know, once PA, you, we yeah. consider that Philadelphia, you know, because mm -hmm. a lot of those people, they aspire to be in, like, Philadelphia. Right. Um, okay. Of course, you know, shout out to, like, State Property, PD Crack, mm -hmm. and... Everybody like that, you know, um, uh -huh. Joey Bravado, uh -huh. you know, we pushing some stuff. So we have a lot, we have a formula Jeff that's Brad working Joe. right now. Yeah, we have a formula okay. that's working right now. And we use a lot of uh, live instrumentations on our songs. Okay. So shout out to Jeff Brad, shout out to he's saying Henry McMillian. We actually have a studio session tomorrow God, with Henry McMillian to, uh, awesome. to finish our, um, our, uh, our track. We have a song called... Um, Called Timeless Culture. Okay. And um, we about to drop that song real soon. So, okay. And, um, you know, but y'all gonna get this song that's playing right now. Yeah. Uh, this is priceless. You we'll know what I mean? Yeah. We'll Streaming right on all now. platforms. Streaming on all platforms. They're leaving title to be priceless. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put all this in the description, guys, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can guys can go there and support the brothers from Philly, man. Yeah. Purple fire. Purple different, fire. Different type of energy. Okay, and um, do you guys have an album ready yet? You got a full album that you want to drop down? I know you had time with the pandemic, mm -hmm. or is we the game albums. changed? We got it's... albums ready. Albums ready? We got albums ready to go. We got albums. Okay. We got songs. Or, uh, songs. Okay. But we're not releasing the music like that right now. Especially okay. with technology transitioning and changing with okay. NFTs and the way that you can monetize your digital assets and your intellectual property. Uh -huh. We're not just going to just put our stuff out there like that. Okay. Like, people to monetize it and we not benefit from it. Make a lot of sense. We're, we're sharing, we're, we know it's valuable, right. but at the same okay. time, we want to actually hold on, maintain its value. Okay. Let it, let it, you know, uh, uh, we appreciate it. Uh, it makes sense, it makes sense. And then label-wise, nobody's with labels no more like that. Right. Labels is not a big you know, thing, is it? We'll get, talk a little bit about the, would y'all go with a label if y'all had a couple 
big singles that drop and somebody want, or you go independent it or? Depends on what the blessing is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, we independent right now. You okay. Know, we have our own label, our guitar. Okay. You know, we sign ourselves. Okay. You know, right now, and it has to be, you know, an opportunity there. It's beneficial for everybody. Yeah. Okay. You know? and, the, and just to add to what, you know, what uh, Tony's saying, as far as the labels go, you know, the, the root of our group, you know, kind of getting together, mm-hmm. becoming a group is, um, we're coming from those situations. It's almost like, um, you know, you have relationships where someone got out of a relationship, you have a couple where they got into yeah. and they, they each got out of a bad relationship, but then it's up to that couple to be really be stronger okay. based on what they've been to, to make okay. that relationship even more successful than the other ones and not bring the baggage in. So Makes what sense. we were able to do with us, what our music is, come in, you know, with the hurt, with the pain, okay. from past relationships with labels and entertainment companies and production deals and publishing deals and all that stuff. You okay. Know, which didn't have the success that we, you know, that we anticipated before we embarked on them. Okay. And when we came into this, we was like, yeah. leave all that shit out the door behind and start right fresh. Now, and we also want to show artists, independent artists in particular, that listen, it could be done. Just leave the like Quincy Jones said on the We Are the World mm-hmm. 25th or uh, anniversary when we saw that DVD he said check your egos at the door. So that's something that we were able to do. Okay. And in our songwriting, in our formula, uh-huh. you know, just say I might be. Killing the song right now, killing the pile and the verse and everything. Yeah. And I might be like, you know what? I have to step outside myself and be like, this the, the chorus ain't for me. I can't force myself to write this chorus. Okay. So let's call Joey. Let's call Joey uh, Bravado and okay. help us out. So that's what we saying. We we kind of like you know this is uh, the artist harvest is basically okay. You know, it's, it's it's humbling yourselves and realizing like you know we got a team. We have a formula. And we're okay. gonna put it together and um you know let's make magic man because okay. magic is not you know it's you know magic is it's just it's just beyond thinking you okay just gotta allow it to happen and not force anything it's power and vulnerability okay yeah, you know when we're writing we realize that you have to open yourself up okay you know what i mean and yeah. it's trust you know what i mean it's all those sensitive you know things that you know a lot of times you don't know, really look at men as doing so yeah. we had to respect each other's perspective Okay. You know what I mean? And like you said, check our egos at the yeah. door. Like, you know, when it comes to the music, man, it's like, uh, we, uh, I don't have no ego. You know what I mean? We're going to make the best possible product we possibly make for okay. the sake of the culture and the sake of the art. Okay. And that's what's going to last through our generation. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not just, you know, make a quick buck. It makes sense, you know yeah. The value will be appreciated when you put it in there. And, and we know it. Okay. You know, when you hear our music, and you can hear the, you know, the experience. You know what I mean? The, was priceless. Priceless, <laughs> you know yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, it's just, it's just true. You okay. Know what I mean? We don't have a problem with showing our faults. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a problem. It's not about being right and wrong. We just really want to be understood. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. And um, how, how'd you guys get the name? I never asked you that in the beginning. You told me the name of the group, but you never told me how you got the name. People always want to know that. Fans want to know that. They always want to know how people. So, so Purple Fire, first of all, it's, Purple, P-U-R-P-L-E, mm-hmm. and the fire is, comes from the P-H in Philly, which is P-H-I-R-E, not F-I-R-E, it's P-H-I-R-E. Okay. So that's how the fire comes, but right. how we came about with the, with, the, with the group is we were connecting with a bunch of artists um, that we know, local artists, like producers and artists and... And we were looking to put together a tour, I mean, the Purple Fire tour. Uh-huh. And um, <laughs> we were already writing songs together. Uh-huh. But okay. We like, you know what I mean? And then we, we just looked at each other and was like, man, listen, why don't we just call ourselves Purple Fire? And, we and are man, the Purple Fire. And we was like, mm-hmm. we are the Purple Fire because we, Royal. everything that was, like the whole idea of the tour was stemming from us. It was yeah. our idea. Okay. And we were bringing our friends together. It was almost like... Purple fire, Spark- you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't know. We didn't yeah. know, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And we were just like like I said, when we when we met, mm-hmm. we just started writing. Literally like the work, you know, all the songs just kept coming. Okay. And we were just like we Prince just started had, writing. Prince had the rain, we the fire. You know Prince what I mean? had the rain, you the fire. Wow, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how it came about. It came about about as a tour and we just figured it was a it was a dope name to we use for ourselves, you know, we didn't know that the whole time, you know, we were... Black and blue makes purple. We've been bruised, we've been wounded, we've been through a lot of stuff in this industry. That makes a lot of sense. We have a lot of experience. 
an experiential knowledge from the industry. Okay. And when you look at your bruises, you look at your wounds, the, a lot of times the bruises are purple. Okay, right? yeah. So we are, we, we've encompassed those bruises, you know, mm -hmm. and now we're on our royalty also. Okay. We're street regal. Okay. You're purple. That's what the, that's what champions wear when they, they give you a purple robe. Right. You know you're purple. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. Any anything else you want to say about the group? Anything they want to know? Because I got a lot of people that watch my YouTube channel mm -hmm. that to support the Philly Don movement, and you know I'm from Philly too, man. So I take a special interest in you well, guys because you know. you guys this are hometown. Guy, this guy right here. Yeah. Is, 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 I mean, you check out Purple Fire Music. This guy is uh -huh. the embodiment of. The Bahamas, uh -huh. the essence of soul music, the essence of jazz and blues. Okay. He encompasses all of those range, and I am a MC. Okay. So if you really want bars, and you really want you know lines and you know rhymes. Purple Fire bring that. You know. Okay, y'all cover the whole the whole board. Yeah, if we're, we're placing, you, you can be safe there with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like our music is good. Yeah, you know I mean it ain't cheesy, it ain't watered down. It's intense. Okay. It lacks no emotion. It lacks no emotion. You no, hear that? It, it's, it's all of that. You know what uh -huh. I mean? It's not watered down at all. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. We, you know, we, Purple Fire is must see TV. You know, Purple Fire is, um, we are ran out on this, man. I mean, you can see, you can see the instrumentation behind us. You can feel the vibe. You see the lights. Yeah. We're always on stage, you know what I mean? And, um, mm -hmm. this place sounds crazy. It gives us an opportunity to, to really, um, Harness. You know, share, mm -hmm. harness, and you know, develop. You know, this approach just to, you know, mm -hmm. to the stage because um, it's just so much energy, and um, we just cultivate all that right here. And, okay. You know, so no. we're not we're not even waiting till you know this whole COVID thing is completely over because they say in like 2023. You know, we, got, we got our own we, venues also. We, yeah. We got our own venues in West Philly that we're building right now at the House of Emotion. Okay. You know, we got, we, that's what we're doing. We're not waiting. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward with the pro, with, with the whole agenda. We're not stopping for anyone. Okay. You know, like you said, we don't have to wait to do good. We don't need permission to do, do good. Do good. You're going to do the right thing. We're going to do good. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Any other singles you dropping soon? Anything else? Because I'm, I'm going to yeah. give them the Instagram. Give them the Instagram, give them the I'm Facebook. To, yeah. I'm gonna put it in the description, but give it to them. Right, so, so our Instagram is um, at Purple Fire. So uh, you can check us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Twitter, you can go to purplefire.com. Go to our website. You can be able to download music there. Uh, we also have merch, like we have pictures. You have pictures. Uh, That's what I was gonna ask too, okay. You know, a lot of people are talking about this. A lot of people haven't seen us who just was interested in yeah, our music. Mm -hmm. We normally have these um, particular mm -hmm. You know, mask on. Yeah. You know, we have some five thousand dollar mask that we um had a special. We worked together on a project with a special designer. Okay. That, uh, designed those masks for us, and right now they're in the vault right now. Right. So a lot of our art, we're gonna be doing with um, we're gonna be wearing those masks. But just to close up a little bit, um, as far as the art goes, outside of the stage performance, the way our look, the, the aesthetics, our artwork is fucking bananas. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Our shit is crazy. Like you know, we have a lot to do with the creative direction of the way our clothes look, uh -huh. what we wear. You know, our our pieces, our watches. You know, mm -hmm. everything, man. So, you know, we're we're just we're dealing with everything from A to Z. You know, a lot of artists they need people. You know, people to do specific things. But um, even on the we tech side, you know what I mean? Yeah. From the music, from everything. the arrangement, from the production. To the technology side of it, like um, okay, we're like we're, we're, we're hands on, we're out for males on this show, and we 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 looking for people who want to help us support also. Okay, you know there's room. Yeah, that guys, so you, know, you know we there's room on the purple fire. Yeah, man. So Shit. go stream that song. Go stream price, uh, priceless right now. It's out on all streaming platforms. Like you say, YouTube, from YouTube, everything from Tidal to Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, mm -hmm. Amuse. We're on all of them. So show us some love. We'll show it right back. Well, wow, maybe I can put it on my YouTube channel. I'm talking with y'all about that. Yeah. Maybe I can put it on my YouTube channel. Okay. And then that'll draw some traffic. Yeah. That'll draw yeah. some traffic to. Yeah. That'll Don't draw some love. traffic to your. Uh, to, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man, it's Thank always you, good to interview somebody from the hometown, man. Wise, yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate you, you guys, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. Curating on this now. Yeah. 
Yeah, Philly Dome, we got to meet up in DR. We got to meet up in DR. Yo, set us up for the show in DR, man. Y'all can set that up. We coming, yo. Y'all play Pagnol, okay? Yeah. Y'all play Pagnol. Don't tell me that can say Pagnol. Y'all play Pagnol. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we out, man. So, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a like. And please let them know the group, man. Let them know. Let them Purple know. Purple fire. Purple fire. Y'all want to. I don't want to put y'all on the spot. Y'all want to do a little something on the way out? Sure. Let me give them a little something. A little teaser. Right. A little promises, teaser. Promises. Never seen nothing yet. Let me live. Let me give. Let me be something else. Selfishness. Pettiness. Ever we nemesis. Never worry. Never get. Never sorry. Never fret. You think you can stop me. So you got to be delusional. So you better watch me. Because I'm coming like a seminal. Rig like a Caesar with my garments and my purple robe. Leave her like an ninja. Like an ninja. So you better know. <laughs> yeah. Some? Yeah, yeah. Give some. Give some. Give some. I'm going to go over this. Priceless. Let's catch it. Here okay. we go. Uh, yeah. uh. When I first met baby girl, she was the nicest. Partly bossy, costly, bossy, but the experience was priceless. She was my diamond mommy, always shining. I call the righteous. When couple saw us regardless, they always wanted to be just like us. But I guess hey. the quest got monotonous and kind of lifeless. I felt the lack of action, passion, plus the excitement yeah. in her lips when I kissed like somebody got in her ear. Yeah. Cause now she ain't hear me clear. clear. If this is the game, you know I'm going to win. And I ain't never been found losing. But it's cool. If you really want to go, uh -huh. tell me what you're waiting for. Uh -huh. Is baby out the way, I'm gonna be okay. No harm, no foul. No foul. We're breaking up more than making love. Uh -huh. I've seen now that you were faking love. Uh -huh. The thrill is gone, you move along. Yeah. Oh, if you really wanna go, go. Yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah.